Well, if the game matches the expectancy level, we're in for quite a treat here in Richmond Park as St. Patrick's Athletic take on Shamrock Rovers in what is a big Dublin derby. Oh, St. Pat's have it back through Jake Mulraney. Mulraney on the attack. He's got Melia in a central position. It's a decent ball. Melia, can he get there? He can! Melia! Is it a penalty? Referee plays on. Well, we'll get another look at that. Damian McGrath won't. Ball over the top. Gravosti deals with it well. Redmond. It looked a stonewaller for me, Keith. It did in real time for me. It looked like a penalty. I'd love to see the benefit of the replay. Initially, it's a brilliant little attack from St. Pat's. Mulraney gets down the left wing. It's a brilliant ball. Just feeds it in there. Once Mason makes the force contact with the ball, I think Stacey just takes him out of it. Shamrock Rovers turn it over. Burke running in behind. Ferruja stays going himself. Still Ferruja. Gravosti trying to chase him down. Ferruja's in the box. Ferruja. Ferruja still goes to ground. No penalty. Was it potentially a wrong call by Damien McGrath, but also maybe a touch of karma? Oh, I don't know, well, Shane. Two wrongs don't make a right. For me, it's a penalty. It's brilliant skill from Ferruja. Loses Luke Turner. Loses Lennon. Stands up Gregos, he just goes past him like he's not there, chops back inside. Oh. And for me, Torna gets a hold of that jersey and drags him down to the ground. Good work by Ferruja. Turner tries to make it his Ferruja, doesn't give up. Forrester is there. Mulraney. Mulraney. Still Mulraney. A low cross. Melia! Almost. So, so close. Great play again on that left wing from St. Pat's. You see Mulraney gets the ball, he checks back in, gets the ball taken off him. This time, it's a lot clearer, gets the ball, drives down the wing, puts it into the box. Mason wins the race to get there for... Those the only goals so far in the top flight. Levy chasing after it as Pats look for one of their own. Levy has options, but he'll go himself. Levy, still Levy. Levy! Mulraney, no Palmer, I beg your pardon. Palmer couldn't get on the break, and Stacey somehow got it away. Soberg's cross, and Stacey takes it easily. Palmer so, so close to giving Pats the lead. Oh, I've no idea how this stays out of the back of the net. It's a lovely little diag from Jamie Lennon. Gets Levy 1v1 with Pilm, drives to the byline. Mason gets half a bit on the ball, comes to Palmer, does really well. Stacey coming back, manages to do enough. Has two or three bites at the cherry, but manages to keep it from going over the line. Soberg. They've turned it over, it's Burke. Burke could go himself here. Burke! Good save. Great save. Three. Little push there on Kenny, but he doesn't mind. Burke. Green's in the centre, he's been joined by Poom. This is a really good run. I think that's Ferruja who tries to pull it back. It's Kenny, it's 1-0. A great break down the right. Kenny was there to collect and score. And Shamrock Rovers go in front. Johnny Kenny with his ninth of the season. Well, Rovers are 1 0 up. Let's see how they did it. Every time Farouge gets the ball on that right wing. Looks an absolute handful, drives into the box, pulls it back. Kenny takes it off Pilm's foot, turns and swivels, drives it low into the back of the net. Still Levy, back inside to Forrester. Mulraney is wide, wide open. Here's Mulraney, Palmer's in the middle, Melia's in the box. Mulraney breaks for Palmer. Might fall for uh, Mulraney, whose shot is over after Levy set him up. Burke is onside, but he is isolated. He can't do it himself, though. Now support arriving from Green. Burke, Kenny's there too. Kenny, still Kenny. Kenny! Off target. He should have done better, and he knows it. You can tell by the reaction. Forrester. Step over from Lennon. Soberg does get there. Soberg's cross is not bad! And it produces a good save from Stacey. Mulraney got there, but just couldn't get enough on it. Lopez to Nugent, to what, I beg your pardon, to Grace.
Back to Watts. Watts, good ball, really good ball. Poom trying to find Kenny. Kenny couldn't find a decent contact. And Pat's got it clear. Mulraney is the target for Ruja. Got, got in the way of it, but couldn't get it away. Here's Mulraney. Mulraney to the back post. That has to be a penalty. There was a push on Keating. There was hands on the back. Here's Levy. Levy. Couldn't keep a hold of it. Keith, on first look. Lopez was definitely panicking. He's When the ball gets hung up, he's in no man's land. He starts hitting the panic button. He does just steam into the back of the Keaton. You can see what Forrest is trying to do when he takes the ball out of the sky. He's trying to just feed it over. Stacey into the top corner. It's so way too much on it. Here's the penalty incident. No, I think that falls into the bracket of seeing those given. Let's have another look. Let's go full JFK on this, back into the left. Stir Lennon. Lennon finds Levy. Now Pat's moving forward in their numbers. You've got Keating up there, you've got Mealy up there. You've got uh, Keating on the ball now, and Keating equalises! Or does he? No, he doesn't, it's offside. Over the top of Lopez. Grace and Lopez combine. And Stacey gets it after the two very experienced centre backs escorted it back to him. Grace. Media chasing Stacey. Media almost got there. Does come to Keating. Keating. Keating is in. And this time he is not denied. Media didn't give up on it. It broke to Keating. And Keating gets his fourth of the season. St. Patrick's Athletic won, Shamrock Rovers won. Life is a roller coaster. And this place has just come to life all of a sudden. It's brilliant for Melia. Goes and gets after Stacey. Blocks the clearance and when it falls to Keaton, gets the ball out of his feet. Uses the defender as a mannequin, just whips it round him. It's a lovely finish. See Mason here sets off after Stacey. As it comes to Keaton, he's one on one with Lopez. Comes back in on that right foot. It's an excellent finish. Starts it just outside the post. Brings it in at the last second with the curve on the ball. Really McClelland for Mulraney. McClelland has to track back. Good ball over towards Forrester, who gets it under control. Levy. Keating's in the box. He's joined by one or two others. Still Levy. Now Forrester. Forrester, can he produce a bit of magic? Forrester. Soberg's cross. Brandon Kavanagh! St. Pat's lead! The super sub has come off the bench to give his team, at this stage, what one would assume, a big three points. What a goal from Brandon Kavanagh. What a cross from the right. St. Pat's, who were 1 0 down for a long, long time, they never gave up. And now they're on the cusp of a big, big victory, a second victory against Shamrock Rovers here in Richmond Park this season. But it will mean so much after a tough start to the Stephen Kenny reign. Now there is time left, so there could be yet another twist. That's brilliant from Brandon Kavanagh. He'd have been told when he was summoned from the bench, go and make a difference, go and win the game for us. He might have just done that for this St. Pat's team. It's brilliant from Forrester, picks up the ball at the edge of the 18 yard box. Does a little pirouette, turns around. When he gives it to Solberg, just fires it into that six yard box. Brandon Cabinet, timing is excellent, meets a flush on his forehead. Once he gets the timing right, can't really miss. Watts will carry. Burn. It's all over, and Stephen Kenny, St. Patrick's Athletic, have beaten Shamrock Rovers. The final score, St. Pat's 2, Shamrock Rovers 1. It's all the more sweeter because they came from behind. Rory Keating and Brandon Kavanagh both off the bench to get the goals, to give the Saints all three. And Stephen Kenny shaking hands with Stephen Bradley.
This could be a huge, huge victory for him and his team.